probably be live for a while. I'll, ch I'll check my chat here and there. If people come on. It's early morning, Sunday morning. I'm off today. I've got nothing to do. And I thought I'd do an early morning painting here in Seattle. The, the weather's better today. The smoke finally all blew out uh, from... Uh, from Canada. Got a spider here. <laughs> Get rid of that spider. Uh, yeah, the weather's great this morning. Let me make sure I got a good shot on the canvas there today. I'm just going to kind of create a landscape today. I'm using Windsor Newton acrylic paints today. I don't think I've done a video using this type of acrylic. I just put all the colors down there. Some blues, the purple, violet, different greens. I had to make my own yellow ochre because I don't have it. I just mixed yellow and uh, burnt umber. So, I might do a, what I have in mind is maybe some distant mountains in gray. Maybe no snow on them today. And then some hills. And then a, a main tree, maybe right in the middle, so it doesn't cover any mountains. With some cool clouds, and then like a stream right in front of the tree here. So that's what I have in mind. And. I'm going to get started. Yeah, it's a nice Sunday morning. I'm going to start by putting... Uh, maybe I'll keep the mountains kind of low today. Put some... Like, distant mountains back here. Gray. Just gonna make this a uh, very simple landscape. And I don't care how long it takes, but acrylic paint is fun. I'm using water in a can to thin it out if I need to. I'm trying to get people interested in. Uh, doing some landscapes in acrylic. Some distant mountains there. Maybe I'll put a darker hills in front of it. Just like that. Alright. That looks good. Like I said, I'm just going to have the picture is going to be a main like a tree right in the front pretty big with some water down here and some a lot of sky because uh, I want to do some cool clouds I got a bunch of different blues down here so I'm just gonna make a blue sky I think it was cobalt blue I mixed a little white in it already And I have some light blue, and I got some violet. What I'm going to basically do is just fill up my uh, painting with my colors, and then I'll start designing it from there. This paint looks like it's working pretty good. This is that Windsor Newton 
Windsor Newton paint. I've been using uh, the last 30 videos on acrylic. I've been using Liquitex. But today I'm using the uh, Windsor Newton acrylic. And like I said, I don't think I, I've never done a Windsor Newton paint for landscape before. This is the first time. I'll do it live. Doing it live. Got some light blue, some really light blue. I think they call it powder blue. I'll try and what I'm trying to do is have it darker here and graduate it down to uh, light around the mountains. I'm just going to use uh, titanium white here at the bottom. Around the mountains. So hopefully uh, you guys are having a good Sunday. If you're watching me paint, you're probably just relaxing. I did a cool video the other day. If you want to check it out, I uh, used AI on my, I have an app. I asked it to design a landscape for me and it, then I, it did and I, ended up doing that landscape that it gave me. Let me see if how this is looking in the frame. Pretty good. It looks good. So I keep moving on. I'm going to do some clouds right now while it's wet. Maybe uh, maybe the color will mix in with the blue a little bit. So I'm going to put up some loose clouds up here. Very loose. Yeah, it's kind of mixing in with the, the blue, so that's good. Let's leave it like that for now. I'm gonna maybe I'll put a little bit of uh, purple, very light, little bit of purple on the bottom of some of these clouds to give a, a shadow underneath them, just to add some color to the sky, just like that, just a little, blend it into the white. It's almost like painting wet on wet with the acrylic. That looks good. So when I have a dark, I'm going to have a big dark tree right in the middle over this sky. It should look pretty good once I'm done. I'm trying to keep the mountains simple. Uh, just a silhouette of mountains back there. Good. I guess I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to put some of this yellow ochre I made down here in front of the mountains. 
see how that ends up looking. Just keep working down to the bottom. Looks pretty good. I'll lighten up the distance here. This is the first day in a long time I've uh, I don't have to work. We had, we were supposed to play last night, but the uh, weather was so bad we uh, canceled our show. So. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool so far? This looks like some wheat fields there. Maybe I'll start bringing this down like at an angle. I got some uh, some I can't remember what kind of green this is, but I'm going to throw it in here anyway. It's a uh, olive green. That's what it is. This green is usually pretty good to highlight with. But I'm actually going to throw it down in here for groundwork. See how it looks. So I think it's time to put in some water now because I said I want to have like a stream in here. I'll mix a little blue and gray. tree maybe just down this side of the stream right in the middle of the painting there's a stream I mixed uh, some dark green uh, Lighten it up a little bit. Put it down here. I used uh, the sap green and black I mixed in there. Mars black. So there's the underpaint. It's all done. So basically we got distant mountains here. Uh, maybe this is like a wheat field, some grass, water, and maybe I'll bring that tree, no, I'm going to bring it on this side of the, on this side of the water, maybe at, right on an angle over here. That's what it's going to be, hopefully it comes out good, we'll see. Trying to think what I want out here. I want to put some kind of uh, trees back in the distance there. So since my main tree is going to be here, I'm going to pop some trees coming over here down this way. Design a few tree tops here. Distant trees. I think that's good enough.
some of that yellow ochre again. Just like that, we got some tr distant trees. Pretty good. I put a few out here that are actually even smaller. simple I'll leave this uh, open for the big tree right here in the middle I kind of like that looks good I got this uh, half inch brush I'm gonna put some uh, bushes on the edge of the river here now stamp them in Yeah, I was kind of maybe, uh, I didn't really want to play last night because it was smoky and I was kind of burnt out too. So I've been working a lot. There's some uh, bushes on the edge of our river. It's looking pretty good. I like the uh, this yellow ochre I made. I just mixed the uh, yellow and that burnt umber. Got that color. I mix a little white back there. Really looks cool this color in the middle here. put some bushes on this edge now of the stream with that I'll try this green that's supposed to be for highlighting let's see how it looks uh, it's like an olive I think it was olive green let's see how that looks yeah, looks 
good. I like it. Very good. Put a little dirt down here. grabbing a little yellow and I'm going to put it in this grass to change the color of that green a bit. Maybe to brighten it up a bit. Just like that. Alright guys, that's about all I'm going to do. I didn't want this video to be too long. I'm going to go ahead and put the tree in now. And then a few birds and end the uh, video. So I'm using, actually going to use an oil brush uh, as a fan brush to uh, put this large tree up right in the middle of the scene right here. It's going to be the uh, main focus of the picture. And I'm planning on just leaving it dark. I'm not going to highlight it. I just want to leave it dark. It's going to come down to about there. And let's, uh, I'm going to put the leaves on now. like that <coughs> looks pretty good Let me set this brush aside I want to put some bushes in front of it now or make the bit bushes a little bigger right in front of it here Hopefully this gives you an idea, some kind of uh, an idea for a painting. There we go. Just an easy, easy painting today out. I might do some more work on it, but that's all I wanted to do so far. I kind of like it. Looks simple. I'm going to do a few birds and call it done. Thanks for watching. Let me see if anybody's uh, got a question or something. Put a few birds in the scene.
I really like that. Just uh, something simple. Not bad for a Sunday morning. Put a few twigs in for you. There's one thing I forgot to do is uh, put some water, white in the water, so let me see if I can get some of this done here. There we go. Got to make it look like the water's running. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, look at that. Not bad for uh, Sunday morning quick painting. It's one tree. <laughs> I like it. I like the simplicity of it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm going to add more to it, but that's all I'm doing for now. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.